in the last episode. An early crippling depression that crippled Velkos' tentacles gave our protagonist the early lead on a quest to obtain the Four Blades of Vitality. In need of a huge amount of gold for the build, it was the first time we saw Y Guy not using his ultimate as a zoning tool. Instead, he crucially landed them that helped him obtain the gold needed to purchase all of the Four Blades. Legends say that when Pike successfully gathered all four blades, his victims only have a second to move before their lives were taken away from them. Papa proved that this legend is true by continuously hunting Velkos, poking its eye over, and over, and over again. Look at that execution range though, I know this build is fun and all, but ain't no way that this will go through to season 10. Y Guy proceeds to test the viability of this build some more, a new contender in the bot lane shines, consuming the darkness that the dawn provides as the sun rises above the horizon, with a lot of crowd control at her disposal, and I mean a lot. What Y Guy didn't know, is that he's about to suffer the consequences of sacrificing tenacity for damage with this new build of his. At this very moment of his death, Papa started to realize that taking the full duration of Leona's crowd controls when using Pike is no fun at all. Why Guy desperately claws his way back to the game after getting a kill on Rise, unfortunately, our protagonist thinks that he's still in control but in reality, he's currently experiencing heat exhaustion due to overexposure to ultraviolet radiation from the owner's ultimate. Papa is grimly reminded why he didn't like going out in the sun, missing his ultimate on this crucial fight.
With White Guy's defeat in the hands of Leona in Game 1, the plot is now thickly established. Now that our protagonist was enlightened, literally, about the greatest weakness that his new pipe build has, White Guy accepts the fact that for him to prevail against the hurdle that's in front of him, he must sacrifice the most important thing in playing League of Legends. Fun. Equipping the epitome of unfun also known as the Aftershock Rune, White Guy plans to stack tenacity and become uncrowd controllable. This pipe build may be the most unfun in all of the pipe builds that Pa Pa played. But it sure is more fun than being crowd controlled for days before staring on a grey screen like watching some old television show from the 70s. Wearing a pair of Mercury's treads, plus his fully stacked latent tenacity, and the tenacity he gains on unflinching for both of his summoner spells on cooldown, Y Guy currently possesses 61% tenacity and finally became uncrowd controllable, entering Asperger syndrome at 88% autism level, increasing his chromosomes by tenfold, unleashing the most powerful move in the weapons of disorder, forgotten dementia.